Hello and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on Newton's third law. Suppose you are floating in space in a rocket ship. How would you make the rocket go forward? Well, you would probably fire your rocket engines. The rocket engines would provide a thrust backwards. But how does that hot rush of burning gases backwards make the rocket go forward? Well, that's where Newton's third law comes in. Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In this case, the thrust backward is countered by the equal and opposite movement of the rocket going forward. So a rocket is a perfect example of Newton's third law. But how about we apply it to an airplane? A jet airplane has jet engines that thrust backward. According to Newton's third law, this should produce a forward propulsion. These two forces, equal and opposite, form an action and reaction pair. And what's very interesting about moving objects is that they form many action and reaction pairs. For example, as the jetliner moves forward, it pushes on the air. But the air pushes backward, forming an action and reaction pair. If you want to get the most out of the motion of your object, it's good to know about action and reaction pairs. For example, with big jetliners, they fly at very high altitudes where the air is thin. Thin air means there will be less force pushing back on the plane. The plane gets the most out of its forward propulsion and uses less fuel. But be careful with your action and reaction pairs. There's an old fable of a farmer who tried to convince a horse to pull a cart. The horse answered back, Well, let's look at this with Newton's third law. If I pull forward on the cart, the cart will form an equal and opposite reaction and pull back on me. With those two equal forces fighting each other, why should I even bother trying to pull the cart? Because it won't move. Well, this is a smart horse, but maybe too smart. He's right about Newton's law, but he's mixing up his action and reaction pairs. If you want to know if the cart will move forward, we should only consider the forces on the cart. The horse is pulling forward on the cart, and there's maybe a little bit of force from friction backward from the ground. So if this horse pulls on the cart, it will move forward. So Mr. Horse, you better get to work.